What's up musicians, Rick here, back with another quick tutorial this time on the Launchpad for ISO. It's by Amplify slash Novation. It works a lot like Novation's Launchpad if you had plugged into Ableton preloaded with a bunch of clips. But here you can buy all the clips in preloaded packs. They're usually really cheap or on sale. We're talking about a buck or two. And there's a bunch of free ones that they come out with all the time. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your projects and open up what you think is a fun looking pack. Everyone likes chill step. Let's try chill step. All right. So it's organized in columns and in rows. In rows, you have kind of your scenes and in your columns, you have your instruments. So the first two here are going to be percussion and drums. Then you have some bass and then usually some melodies as are in purple and vocals in blue. And then you have these effects over here that are kind of one shot plays. The cool thing is that everything's synced together so you can't launch a clip out of sync. So. It even waits till the clock comes back around to start it in time, even though we had nothing else playing. The other nice thing is that this does work with Ableton Link. So if you're playing something on your computer or a bunch of musicians are playing all kinds of instruments, they're all linked up and synced to the same clock. Let's do a little demo. I usually like to start with some drums. If you play everything in order, left to right and up to down, you'll get a pretty good sound out of it. This is DJing made easy. Now I don't have to be accurate with when I launch the clip. It'll launch right on time every time. Add a vocal. You can see in the circles how long the clip is, so the vocals are a lot faster than the drums. I'm gonna watch this halfway through those clips. Now we're gonna come with the other one. Yeah, screwed up there. It would have been nice if it all came in at the same time, but it sort of stopped everything. Change things up a little bit. play with some effects. If you click on the lower right where it says effects, you're going to get your effects panel and you can do things like stutter.
Hunter on the vocal. There you go. You can do things like change the tempo. You can do things like change the key. You can edit the effects and what column it affects. You could actually edit what the pads are. And in another tutorial, I'll show you how to do that using Blocks Wave to create your own sounds and load them into this. Hey guys, the camera started to malfunction during this part, but all I was trying to show you is that you can press record and then you can export either to your SoundCloud or to YouTube or even just export as raw audio. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.